Right, so let's jump straight into how you can install Audacity onto your computer. In this example, I'll be installing it on Windows 10, but the process is very similar if you're going to be installing it on Mac or Linux. To start, you'll want to visit audacityteam.org, which is the official website for Audacity and the one I have pulled up here. There are other places you can download it from, but it's usually a good habit to download software directly from the company if you can, so you can ensure it hasn't been tampered with, bundled with any other software you potentially might not want, and so on. Now that we're on the website, you can probably imagine the next step. You can click this big blue download Audacity button and it will automatically detect what OS you're using and begin downloading the software. Alternatively, you can go up to the top of the screen and you can see that there's all these different operating systems here. Um, just go ahead and click on the one you want and it'll do the exact same thing. There's a chance by the time you're watching this video, the website layout has changed. They don't seem to change it often, but if for whatever reason you can't find it, you can search Audacity Download in Google and simply click on the link from audacityteam.org. Also, if for whatever reason it doesn't start downloading, you want to click uh, the link here that says installer. So let me just go ahead and click on this. Um, and you can see this Audacity 3.0.2 installer or whatever the newest version is. Go ahead and click that. It should start downloading. So let's save this file. Okay, so that's going to go ahead and download. Um, while that's doing that, there's another step before we leave this page. Now, if you scroll down to this section that says optional downloads here, you'll want to click on the one that says this FFmpeg import slash export library and um, follow these instructions too. In the past, you also had to download another piece of software called LAME or L-A-M-E. Uh, funny story, the acronym for LAME is uh, LAME ain't an MP3 encoder, but that's exactly what it does actually. Um, it allows us to work with MP3s. Fortunately, it's now included with Audacity automatically. Anyway, both of these packages will help you in importing and exporting a wider variety of audio formats in Audacity, which will come in handy. Um, so let's go ahead and download that. Let's see, recommend install it. Go to the external FMPEG download page. Yep. Um, okay, we can see here this FFMPEG for Windows and latest Audacity versions. Um, it recommends the zip option. I've never had any problems with the EXE, so that's the one I'm going to go ahead and download here. Okay, so just a quick note back on the Audacity page. If you happen to be on Linux, um, you'll find that the downloads aren't here. Oops, I uh, went back to the page, so it started trying to download again. You'll find that the Linux downloads aren't here for FFmpeg or LAME. Um, you can install both of these just using the terminal or the package manager. The package names are FFmpeg and LAME. So there you go. Right, so now that Audacity is fully downloaded, let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, my language is English, so let's use English. Uh, next, next. Uh, next, pretty standard stuff. Okay, so while that's going, if you happen to have uh, downloaded FFmpeg, you'll want to make sure that you install that after Audacity, just to make sure there aren't any weird compatibility issues. So that looks like it's about done. Um, go ahead and click Next again, Finish, and Launch Audacity. The process for installing FFmpeg is basically the exact same, um, so I won't show that here. But yeah. Anyway, now that Audacity is installed, there's one final step left to do. Once you open up Audacity, you'll want to go to the navigation up at the top here, click Edit, and then click on Preferences. Did I miss it? Oh, nope, still loading. Okay, there we go. After the Preferences have been opened up, you'll want to click on Libraries here, on the left-hand side. Um, then this FFmpeg library, you'll want to click Locate. Um, you can see mine here says that they've automatically detected the libraries. Uh, I already had them installed in the default location. If you installed them somewhere else, you might have to uh, click this Yes button and like navigate to the folder you installed them in and click it there. Um, if you left it on default, it should detect it automatically. So there you go. So I'm going to go ahead and click No because it's already found mine as you can see here. Um, all right, I, that's done. Audacity should be fully installed right into use now. If for whatever reason something is not working, you can go ahead and restart your computer and that should fix most issues that should pop up as it, you know, it normally does when installing new software. So there you have it. Audacity should be now ready to work with. 
In the next videos, we'll look over how to begin working with the software, so stay tuned and I'll see you there. Hey, before you go, be sure to grab my audio editing cheat sheet, which I'll link down in the description. For more Audacity tutorials, click this playlist right here. Thanks for watching and see you soon.